What's up, everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar, sort of fresh out of vacation. Still kind of stressed a little, but that's okay. Hopefully, everybody's having a wonderful day. Uh, welcome to your... This is early, early, early look at the Marvel uh, April solicitations for collected edition. So a big thank you to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us this. Uh, they wanted to get out during the holiday, so they're like, here you go, share it when you want to. And I thought, huh... I got a lot of other videos coming out next week, uh, like a bunch of top 10 videos. So I was like, let's go ahead and do it today. Surprise everybody, get everybody an early Christmas present. And uh, before I get started, though, these two wonderful folks, apparently nobody loves them and they're not sharing any uh, time with the family, uh, are with me today. So Curtis, who are you? Explain yourself. I am Curtis from the Epic Marvel Podcast. If you go to epicmarvelpodcast.com, you can hear my commentary on a bunch of old uh, Marvel comics. Mm -hmm. We follow up, talk all about the Epic Collections, which you can also join my Epic Collection face group. So just search for Epic Collections on Facebook. And thanks, down below, thanks for having me. Oh, no, thank you for joining me, man. Thank you for joining me. Well, and damn, down, it, I don't have nearly those accolades. I don't have anything impressive to say. Uh, okay, I was going to say, and I just listed my website. <laughs> <laughs> a man that does not need any introduction because he is insta famous for oh his toy God. photography oh taking mm -hmm. over the internet. Who are you? Uh, at SSD Toys on Instagram, where uh, Omar's right, I do take pictures of toys as a grown adult, having way more fun than any person rightfully should. Uh, I have a YouTube channel uh, at Super Squad D on YouTube where uh, it has devolved mostly into top 10 lists and opening up toys with an old guy named Jess. He's a good man. And uh, sadly, Jess was going to join us, but he is he's just not feeling good lately. Wait, and, sad uh, that Jess was going to join? <laughs> sadly, he's not going to join. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just I really gonna, misunderstood that. I am going to miss him. Like uh, he's He's been feeling a lot under the weather lately so my thoughts and prayers are with that guy i love that dude besides all the crap i give him he's one of the kindest human beings on the planet so i hope he gets uh to feeling better ugly sweater met me me tia like she bought me this she was very proud my entire village of peru where she's from saved up money to buy me this and you called it the ugly sweater Aww. how Ouch. terrible man that was you were just telling me before the stream started about how proud you were of that sweater you were like this is like a heritage my sweater my auntie bought me this so and probably, like, her, it, the entire and... village where she's from saved up money for like two months they couldn't yeah. eat because they knew that i was a youtube oh. uh yeah guy so. Star? Is that what you're going to say? YouTube I'm, same on all I of did, you. I was going to say influencer, but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from the Philippines. What's up, Chris Baga? How are you? Happy to start the holidays with this surprise mm -hmm. Marvel solicit. Um, yeah, I've got a, another announcement coming out. I'm sure a lot of you all saw the announcement of the uh, Spider Geddon Spider Verse Omnibus. And I'm really excited about that one because as probably a lot of you all know that have watched my channel one of the worst books that i talk about the way it was mapped was spider verse the oversized hardcover so now they have this opportunity to go and map it correctly and oh that just makes me that makes me really happy i mean it's not my favorite spider event but it does make me happy that they're uh you know have this time to fix it and i have more spider-man announcements i'm trying to decide okay we're listening go ahead all right. Well, no, I'm not. not yeah, you have our attention. Uh, I'm trying to decide of how to space them out a little bit. So I thought maybe Christmas Day. You know, it's Christmas. I think it's a good day for for a lot of people to hear about this particular one. But we're doing the live stream that day, so maybe I'll put it on our Patreon, and then maybe the next day on the 26th, you know, people can see what I was talking about. The 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 sweater is great. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Is this my aunt? Hello from my aunt, Malaysia. Waiting on some new announcements. They are coming. Oh man, okay. I will talk about the uh, the the situation with the channel on Saturday if you care about that. Uh, hopefully, things will uh, you know will we'll get better. It's just man, it's a Peruvian. I love your sweater, man. Viva Peru, carajo, Sergio. Llama sweater. <laughs> this is are there any llamas on this thing? I don't know. I thought it was really sweet that she bought it for me. I told her so once a year. I wear it on the channel. <laughs> well, Omar. Merry Christmas from Poland. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Dude, I heard in uh you all are already getting Ultimate Spider-Man Omnibus Volume 1. Like shops are getting it overseas and in America it doesn't come out until after the holiday. Wow. So that's awesome. 
That's awesome. Uh, sending out prayers to everyone that their holidays are good. Thank you, Ryan, that you and your families are healthy and safe. So before getting started, yeah, uh, really quick, how are you guys celebrating the holidays? Are you guys traveling anywhere? Just no. sticking, just staying close. My biggest holiday celebration is uh, being on near mint condition right now. This is it. Like this is like my <laughs> Christmas wish. Like I made it, Santa granted it, and I'm here. So like this is it, bro. This is it. Actually, I'm starting the Christmas celebration because my wife is going to be uh, gone later this afternoon, and I'm going to get out a big bag of flour and cover our counter with it and try to take some toy photos of uh, stormtroopers oh. dressed like Santa and elves. <laughs> And it's going to look like snow and it's going to be amazing. And when my wife gets home, I'm, my, Christmas will be ruined. Almost certainly. <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, yeah. So toy photography, where can people find you? Instagram at SSD toys. Having lots of fun over there. Just hit us, hit the 6,000 milestones. That was really exciting. Oh, wow. Nice really, job. I love really this. Uh, Road to Onslaught Omnibus 2022. I love I love that that's a thing now. And you know what? I'm kind of excited for that. <laughs> I would buy it. I hate Onslaught <laughs> with a passion. It is the comic book that made me quit reading comics for years. But you know what? Bring it to me, baby. I want it all. <laughs> Um, there's another one here. Hey, happy, uh, hey guys, happy Christmas from the UK. Me and the kids have burnt the gingerbread house. <laughs> oh, giving us a bad job. Decided to watch this instead. Oh, thank you. Are there any surprises in here? Well, I'm, how about this? I'm glad to see this particular series come to an end and collect it in this format. Uh, that's, that's the big surprise. And I'll, and you'll know what I'm talking about here because I was worried that they would not finish it out. How about that? Oof. I'll celebrate traditional Swedish family Christmas sacrificing a lamb to Freya. <laughs> Wait, is that the horse? Right? The Freya's the horse spirit, right? The, the with the skull. That's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Spider-Man 2099, Omnibus 2022. I love this. Look at that hashtag. Man. That's the one I'm hoping for, man. Spider-Man 2099 is also on the way, I guess. I don't know. I have sworn an oath to keep quiet. But I love all the uh, on the video, you can see. Like people are like, this is what I want. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and then sometimes I'm looking at like some of the guesses and I'm like, no, I don't know. <laughs> I think you're the only one that wants that one. I'm so it's like Jess. But Jess wants, people, but Jess wants people, a Gwenpool omnibus more than anything. Jess, you know, he's not the only one. I've been asked a lot about that one. Have you? Really? Gwenpool? All right, well, we'll see. That one has but, some potential, I think. It was, was a good run. It was a good run. A lot of people in the comments section of Spider Gen have guessed a lot of the ones that are coming up, and I'm very excited to get to announce them finally. Uh, you know, I've thrown hints here and there, and I and I, my wife has told me that I suck at throwing hints that I <laughs> flat out exactly tell them what's going to happen. <laughs> so I stopped throwing hints because I'm just like this character is really green and <laughs> shulkish. <laughs> She's like, stop! You need to stop uh, throwing hints because you suck at it. Oh, we all know the next webhead related omnibus will be Spider Ham. What? The no, imagine. You are gonna be upset. <laughs> but you know what? In this, in this time, like we seriously could get a Peter Porker, the Amazing <laughs> Spider or Spectacular Spider Ham <laughs> omnibus long before we get a Superman Man of Steel. And that is oh, the last man. time I throw shade it at the Distinguished Competition on today's video. Uh, everybody, please hit that like button. Let's <laughs> go ahead and get started. Oh man, what I would love for some of these things. Are you saying I'm not getting my Romnibus? Right now, that stuff, licenses and all that, that's stuff with IDW and who knows. Mm. That stuff is still up in the air, who that belongs to and will be long to by end of year. So hopefully, you know. I mean, selfishly, yes, of course, I want Mar Marvel to have the rights to Transformers, G.I. Joe, Micronauts, Rom. But then part of me really enjoys the idw verse like i really yeah. that is the best transformers comic i've ever read like so i want idw to continue publishing them but selfishly of course micronauts bring them over baby <laughs> give, me that, give me that classic godzilla my goodness <clears throat> all right let's go ahead and get started please let me know um let me share the the screen here And if you want us to the side, that's cool. Or we can hide ourselves. We can be full screen. However you find folks want it. Uh, and is this big enough? Do you want it bigger? 
because I can make it bigger. Please don't take that out of context. Yeah. Spider-Man, the wedding album gallery edition, kicking off that freaking Spider-Man anniversary coming next year. Getting a lot of Spider-Man stuff in different formats, but this is one that I announced. Actually, I announced this on a live stream. So it's not an epic, Curtis. I'm sorry. It's not an omnibus, <laughs> but it is a big event for Spider-Man and collecting Amazing Spider-Man 290 to 292, Spider-Man Annual 21, Spectacular Annual 7, What If 20 through 21. I love that they threw those in there. And Marvel Saga, the official history of the Marvel Universe 22 and material from Not Brand. Curtis, how do you say it? Yeah. <laughs> Not Brand. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 60 years of Spider-Man. My goodness, how time has flown. And I wasn't even there from the beginning, right? I was just there for like, oh, 20 years. That's a long <laughs> time. <man." laughs> Like I remember no those kidding. when they were coming up. Thirty years. I remember it. Thirty years. I'm like, yeah. I was in high school and I was like, man, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a little older now. Like thirty <laughs> years felt like just yesterday when I was a kid that it was twenty. Man. And then, but I wasn't. I don't think I was around for forty. I was there for the fiftieth, and now we're sixty years into Spider Man. They should have thrown in, um, brand new day. <laughs> what? The wedding happened. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so calm down. That's what I was just thinking. I'm like, buy the buy the hardcover of the event that never happened. <laughs> hey, it was in print. It still happened, okay? I don't care who you are. It happened. And Black Panther, the omnibus I got to announce last this past Saturday. My favorite Black Panther run uh, by Christopher Priest. You have the Texera cover which is the standard edition cover, which is a gorgeous cover, but I do look really like that Salvaluna. That's cover. awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. So, collecting Black Panther 1 through 33, Deadpool 44, and material from Double Shot number 2, which is... Oh, who's the... Oh, wait, we got another person just joining us. What's up, Lars? <laughs> Whoa, Lars, what is the name? Oh, no way. Did you guys plan this? What is happening? Holy cow, five of us? I love it. Oh, let me let me let me stop really quick. Can Jess, you taste the excitement? <laughs> Jess, I'm so glad you made it, buddy. How you feeling? Uh good. I, I you guys started 12 minutes ago? Yeah, it's okay. I understand you're not feeling good, so you lost track of time. It's okay. Uh, no, I knew what time it was. I just <laughs> didn't want to be on. Yes, Jess. Are you Jess. saying that he couldn't afford you that much because your your fee is too expensive? Yeah, Omar can afford it now. He could afford me for uh, a uh, quarter easy. of the show. Okay, okay. I was gonna say easy with the strikes talk. <laughs> 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 I could taste the hot mic. What's Yo. up, your Omni Dog? Omni Dog, great. Look at all the love you're getting. Everybody forgets about Super Squad D now. <laughs> the story of my be. life even on my own shows that they're just like can you just put can you full screen jess and get you out of here i'm like okay it's a festivus miracle and lars the norwegian assassin just yeah. joined, you guys joined at the same time were you yeah. guys together I, I apologize for being uh, late. I was actually getting uh, – having my yearly physical, getting a blood drawn, and, of course, you know, for cholesterol and stuff like that. And then it just gets embarrassing because they're like, well, can we have, draw your blood again because you being one of the sexiest men alive, we want to study you. And it's like, okay, you get the second blood drawn. Well, you're one of the smartest men alive. Can we draw your blood again? And it's like, okay, fine. You know, I'm like, you can't, I can't give you all of my blood, not all of it. <laughs> so it just got very complicated, for which I'm sorry. So, I have no words. Were you selling <laughs> blood in plasma? What no, no, I, no, it's just, no. Again, cholesterol. Just you know, check that sort of Got thing. Got you, yeah. Lars and the real Jazz. Do they the real Jazz. together? They were both getting their blood drawn. I think I did come in at just the right moment, though, because again, this Black Panther by Christopher Priest omnibus. That's very exciting. Very, very exciting. Oh yeah. Did I miss the Gwenpool omnibus? <laughs> I shouted it, bro. That came. That came out this year, Jess. Gwenpool. <laughs> The unbelievable Gwen pool? Oh my gosh, never mind. That was a uh, spider Gwen. I get my <laughs> Gwen mixed up. No, um, I'm talking about the one that's really good. The Gwen pool. One. How dare you? I uh, did enjoy Gwen pool. Gwen pool was very good. I haven't I haven't seen that, man. I'll be I'll be hoping for a Christmas miracle for you though. Thank uh, you, buddy. Perhaps one day, my friend. This Immortal, is a great bug. This is also another one that Ugh. a lot oh, of this people is have exciting. Been yeah. So this is not only the Immortal Iron Fist coming back into print, but it's also has all the Immortal weapons. And because I had so many people ask me, awesome, they did add the material from I Am an Avenger, number one. So for all those people Ooh, keeping track, that wraps up the story 
uh, that was started in the Immortal Weapons era. So there you go. People that were asking me about that, like there were 13 people that emailed me after I made that announcement. They were Can like, you go back to the beginning. Uh, I will. Yeah, just start uh, at the beginning. Yeah, keep, keep not, going. No, it's the wedding, man. That's all you missed. <laughs> all you missed was wedding. The yeah, the one that didn't have Spider Man and Mary Jane. Oh, okay. And this looks like it's being because this was in the catalog last time. So this is the X Lives and Deaths of Wolverine hardcover. Uh, there's the Adam Kubert. That's the Mark Brooks cover, I think. And the Adam Kubert cover here. We do have Patch. We don't have Albert, though. And I'm, that's okay. <laughs> Collecting X Lives of Wolverine, five issue mini, and the X Deaths of Wolverine, five issue mini. 288 pages, $75. Is everything okay? Oh, good. <laughs> Tyler playing with this toys. All right. And this is the book I was talking about. So Immortal Hulk Volume 5. People were worried that they were not going to continue it in oversized hardcover format. But they're finishing it out in oversized hardcover format. 290 pages, 41 through 50, $39.99. Great. The remaining of Al Ewing's phenomenal run. Has anybody read this? I, I finally finished reading it in trade. Mm -hmm. No. I'm waiting. I, uh, I read the first hardcover and it was awesome. Yeah, man. It stay. I mean, there are dips, right? Like there, there's a couple of dips. Uh, but at the top of my screen, there's a dip. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you know, me? Okay. Yeah, uh, you. Not Curtis. He's a good guy. Yeah, Thanks nobody speak, speaks ill of Curtis. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm excited that this is finally getting coming out. Now, before it, people start asking, what about the omnibus? I don't know. I really haven't heard. But obviously, this you know, this is a good sign. You know, maybe after they sell out of this, we'll get an omnibus out of Immortal Hulk. Uh, no, Volume One was reprinted. Did they? Is it out of print again? Dang it, the collector! I just said, "Where's the army?" <laughs> Where is the Omni? I don't know, man. But look at this. Look at that Bill Mantlo. Oh, that's uh, so Marvel Masterworks, The Incredible Hulk, Volume 16, collecting issues 245 to 255, and Marvel Treasury Edition 25. And so this is the uh, Bill Mantlo run. Continuing. We're, we're getting a Bill Mantlo epic collection too, aren't we, uh, Curtis? Yep, we'll be getting one around this time in, in March. Joe Bennett is trying his hardest not to to make sure an Omni doesn't happen. I don't. I don't think Joe <laughs> Joe Bennett has any pull anywhere. The woke <laughs> the woke NATO just made that comment. The woke NATO. The Clark NATO. You leave Clark NATO alone. He's a good guy. Jazz, does this roast everybody day for you? Dude, he, he's on our You're next, I mean, You're next buddy. Hey, I welcome the attention, Jess. Yeah, Any actually, attention. you do. That's why I never bother. You're so mean, Jess. You're so mean. <laughs> Black Panther, Long Shadow, Part 1, John Ridley's new series. Now, I can't wait to read this because I like John Ridley. So yeah. this is the new series. Juan Cabal doing most of the artwork. John Ridley, who, if you've not checked it out, wrote The Underground. I believe he's the one who wrote The Underground Railroad, um, which is now a show on Amazon. Um, the, the, I've, oh, I, I, saw, I thought it was a movie. Oh, yeah, uh, it's a mini series. Okay, I have not seen it. So here is Black Panther. That's a great cover. Yeah, can't go wrong with Ross, right? Captain America, Iron Man, the armor and the shield. Interesting, uh, series. Derek Landy, Ooh. Angel Un Sueta, collecting the five issue mini series. Another Alex. Man, Alex Ross is just nice. He's the man. You know, I had a client named Alex Ross once. and uh, I'm, I am so there. embarrassed. I got those ones mixed up. He didn't write uh, Underground Railroad. He wrote 12 Years a Slave. That's my mistake. I apologize. Hmm. I saw the movie. That was a movie. Yeah, yeah, that was a movie. It was a good movie. Steve Steve McQueen directed it, right? Not not old school Steve McQueen. Yeah, it's, it's a good time to point out. I had to I had to fast for my physical this morning. So I have, you know, um, I'm running on no food and can't be relied upon what I'm saying. Oh, did you have a physical this morning? Yes, where I did. your blood was drawn, Lars. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Man, Jess, I thought you guys both got your physical done today. That's why both <laughs> of you were running late. Hulk by Donny Cates, Volume One. Can't wait to read. I read the first issue. Uh, 
Well, I'll just say it's it's different than Al Ewing's run, of course. Uh, but this is Donny Cates and Ryan Otley teaming up. Ryan Otley was the artist that had a huge run on Invincible. And what else we got? Avengers Forever, Jason Aaron's uh, miniseries, one through five in here. Aaron Cooter's the artist. Look at all those characters. Wow, that's cool. Making George Pettis proud. I do love Avengers Forever, like the original miniseries that retconned a lot of the crap that they shouldn't have done to begin with. So I don't know what this is about. Oh, yeah, multiverse. Okay. Were they, oh, there's a, what's her name? Captain Carter. Captain Carter Ooh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Jess and I both love Captain Carter for different reasons. Really? What's your reasoning? I get well, I, love, I love the character and think she's a great character. It's my favorite episode of What If. You can take Jess's reason for however you want. <laughs> she's a great action figure. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> also like seeing uh, Kill Raven on a cover. Is that is that Box here from uh, Alpha Flight? Alpha Flight. Like Box. Who's this guy back here? Sentry? Let's see. But anyway, uh, Multiverse. Devil's Reign. So this is the big event happening at Marvel, uh, starting it, kicking it off with uh, Chip Zdarsky's uh, Daredevil series. Have you read any of Zdarsky Daredevil? Mm -hmm. I've heard it's amazing. It's really good, man. So <laughs> did I miss anything Daredevil related? Yeah, you're going to see a lot of Daredevil related here. <laughs> so Devil's Reign, this is the six issue mini. This is the trade paperback for the six Ooh. issue mini. It is drawn by Marco Kiketo. And then you have Devil's Reign Superior Four. Whoa! Whoa! That's weird. Zach Thompson, Anthony. I don't, I don't even know if it's the all new Fantastic Four. <sighs> uh, new Fantastic Four, right? Yeah, with the exception <laughs> of uh, the Iron Hulk. Hulk. What is I, all that? I'm a big fan of this. This looks great. You just want toys of this stuff so you can take. I, I need them, dude. <laughs> I have to go make some customs right now. Uh, villains for Hire. I don't even know if some of these series have been announced yet. I could have sworn this one had the Superior Four. Uh, and then we have Villains for Hire. And also collecting Devil's Reign Moon Knight. And look at that. Oh. Film, film auto cover. Devil's Reign X-Men. I like that cover. And because of the Kingpin's menacing look back there. The Kingpin's on that cover? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Uh, collecting Devil's Reign, X Men One through Three, and Winter Soldier, and I love this cover right here. Mm. Daredevil, mm -hmm. Woman Without Fear, collecting Woman Without Fear One, Two, and Three, and Electra One Hundred. Okay, wait. So we're done with Devil's Reigns, and this is a separate. This looks like a mini series, but okay. it is written by Chip Sadarsky, and. To be determined is the other writer. Out for your wow, that's an electra one hundred. Okay, yeah, I'm here for it. Ah, oh, here we go. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Yeah, so I just got. I just started reading the first trade of this. Did um, you like it? It's pretty good, huh? It's different. I will say that. Well, and not every <laughs> not oh. not everything is answered yet where I am. So this collects the Amazing Spider-Man Beyond Volume Four issues eighty nine through ninety three and ninety two dot. What Tyler dot is he frozen? I know he's not frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you kick me off the show? Yeah, right. <laughs> the heck, man? So this collects amazing Spider Man 89 through 93 and 92 point bay, which is really beyond. Oh, look at, beyond look at this. Love. The Super Squad <laughs> Marvel Comics preview. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. Thank you. You're the only person who's ever uh, wanted me back on this channel. I got a lot of. No, there, there, there were there. two. There was a, what was his name? Joe, Joe Cool, that guy, Joey Cool, <laughs> which I still think is one of your other accounts. And... It totally <laughs> is. Very flattering. There were at least two people who wanted you back. Right. It makes me feel good. And, and Omar made clear he was not one of them. Like, oh, it was, it was Tyler and me. I don't like playing favorites, you know? I've never been good at that. Omar doesn't like different. That's not true. <laughs> all new all different x-men no wait so what's going on with this amazing spider-man 
series. So during the well, I don't want to spoil. It's not. How about this? I'll say it's not Peter Parker. That's well. It said under, it in the preview. It said Ben Riley. Yeah, but not everybody. Oh, dude! Oh, spoiler. It's, nah, it was in the the word. Okay, all right. So fake Spider Man. <laughs> it's how it, dare you? It's uh, ninety <laughs> Spider Man that is Spider Man right now. It's not Peter Parker. Get his how dare Riley. you? <laughs> how dare you? You take that back. <laughs> You just have random figures around you that you can uh, put up. Uh, yeah. Definitely not. All right. No. Now, I don't know what this is. This is the last Annihilation, which has issues of Al Ewing's Guardians of the Galaxy cable reloaded. Last Annihilation, Wicked and Hulkling, and Wakanda and Sword Number Seven. So, it's another Annihilation. I know that they did. What's the Annihilation event they did a couple of years ago? And I, I don't think it got any kind of traction. So maybe this is another Annihilation. I'm trying to make I had a quick me. question. Talk to me. Uh, it mentioned sword in there. Is is uh has that been collected? Yeah. It's got uh let me see. Actually, volume, volume two has been solicited. But I believe the series has been canceled. So it ends gonna, on issue eleven or something. Yeah, this. Yeah, is the, you'll the, oh, actually the last. I believe the last issue just came out. Okay. Yeah. So this is volume two. This is the one that uh, comes out. I think in January. Uh, I just got it in the mail, so that's why. But this collects issues seven through eleven. And so, should I get those two trades to make sure we get an OHC? Curtis? Um. <laughs> yes. Yes, you should. Okay. They're also part of the Reign of X era, too. Yeah. Right. That okay. But he's not done. I think it was they're 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 shifting the titles around, the, right? So it, like Al Ewing is continuing writing X-Men, but it's called I think he's writing X-Men Red. I got excited when I saw X-Men Red because I thought it was gonna be a continuation of Tom Taylor's series, which was mm, really cool. that was so good. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, but it's going to be Al Ewing. So I think he's taking a lot of the characters he was using in Sword and writing them into X-Men Red. Yeah, because I actually read the last issue of Sword this morning, and it didn't really... I mean, it was good, but it didn't really tie things off. So I would presume he'll be using them elsewhere. There so you are with that blood reference again. Tie things off. Exactly right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it also leads into the Cable Reloaded issue one, which is collected in here, also by Al Ewing. So maybe there's some things that are going to be wrapped up there. And look at that cover. Nice. That is part That's of the X-Men Gala. That's her X-Men Gala outfit. My goodness, look at that hat. <laughs> That's how you spell it. X-Force 20, Hellions 12, Excalibur 21, and X-Men 21. So Reign of X Volume 12. I'm not the biggest fan. Here, I'm just going to help you out. I'm not the biggest fan of blank. But I love an OHC regardless. Yeah, <laughs> I feel the same, man. Well, I am going to be interested because again, I like the deluxe formats the best, and so with some of the lesser selling X books, I hope they're going to do an OHC. But or they could just say, "eh, that didn't sell too well." We so are we're getting we're getting Hellions, we're getting Cable, we're getting, yeah. Uh, oh, we are uh, Hellions has been resold. Hell yeah, 18 yeah. issues of Hellions. All, so all of Hellions is going to be Oh, collected. good. They are doing quite a few of them. I just hope that, again, those lesser titles. Are, and they're doing, like, Cable, which can't have sold all that great. So <laughs> I hope That was a really good series. That was really good. That was... I mean, again, I don't like Cable, and I really love that series. Um, exactly. Hopefully, they'll do an OHC of Sword. Wolverine, Black, White, and Blood. This is the trade paperback edition. If you don't want the big book, the big uh, gallery edition. Or treasury edition, rather. Iron Man, Volume 3, Books... Of Korvac. There's Ross. Dude, I I love this Iron Man. I think there's only a couple of other people that have been reading it that when I do my overviews, this is the guy. This is uh Christopher Cantwell who gave us Doctor Doom riding a bear. <laughs> <laughs> so badass. And he's writing this and he's bringing back a lot of elements that I enjoyed about it. And on top of that, Korvac, which is one of my favorite sagas in Avengers. Uh, but I am so enjoying this series. So glad to see uh, it continuing. And I hope it gets some kind of big uh, oversized format. But if you're not reading this and you like Iron Man, you should definitely check it out. And Fantastic Four is another one of uh, Dan Slott's. Oh, my goodness. 10. Volume 10. Fantastic Four Reckoning War Alpha. Oh. So this is part one. Fantastic Four 40 through 42. And the Trial of the Watcher. Carlos Pacheco. 
Say no more. Okay, imagine if Dan Slott got an omnibus for his Fantastic Four run before he got a Spider-Man omnibus. Well, Just imagine. Here's the thing, though. They have been doing that recently, right? Like, they've done it with Thor by Jason Aaron, and they did yeah. it with uh, Ven Omnibus by uh, Kate. uh, uh, Kate's, right? So it seems like maybe they're, they've realized, hey, once these writers are done, let's go ahead and uh, make some Omnis out of this stuff. It, yeah. I don't think, I don't, you know, I, like I said, I don't know about Immortal Hulk, but it seems like that's been the case uh, recently. And so, if this is in alphabetical order after this, oh, I thought it was going to be Gwenpool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where do you see Gwenpool? Miss well, Marvel I it was in alphabetical order, so G comes after F. I thought. No, it's not. It's it's in a like format. I think G does come after F. I'm, I do think that's true. <laughs> okay, so I'm right about that part. You're definitely right about that, Jess. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Marvel Beyond the Limit by Samira Ahmed. Is that? I don't want to make assumptions here. Are they related to uh, Solid? How, uh, how dare you? Uh, I'm making the same last name. Uh, well, I mean, and it's also the cover by Mash Mashal Ahmed. So I don't know if it's a family thing. Because uh, they had been writing like a lot of the, uh, you know, Miss Marvel previous to this. So. I read the G. Willow Wilson Miss Marvel and then that was it. Oh, uh, does, does everyone, everyone hate Dan Slott? Who hates Dan Slott? I don't. His Silver don't Surfer know. is one of the best books I've ever read. Yeah. Dan, <laughs> Dan Slott's Silver Surfer, all-time favorite book. Yeah. No, uh, Dan, Dan I don't know where I don't know where that comes from because the most like outside of Amazing Spider-Man Volume 6, Spider-Man 2099, Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 2. One of the most requested Spider-Man books I get Spider asked about yeah. every freaking day is where's, yeah. that, where's that Dan Slott on uh, Marvel Omnibus Spider-Man? Yeah, so I don't know who hates him. Maybe well, on, the internet, on the internet, somebody hates everybody. <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, here's the thing: you may hate him, but you're still going to buy that Omnibus. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if that equates into hate. You know, like that. that maybe your definition is a little different than mine. Ghost Rider: The Return of Blaze. I was so excited when I saw this. Howard oh. Mackey is co-writing. Yeah. Oh, what? Man. That's pretty good. The yeah. Howard Mackey, like the actor? Mm, you're thinking of Howie Mandel, the voice That's of so <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel. No, no. Howie Mandel writing <laughs> Ghost Rider? No, Howard really? Mackey, the very longtime comic book writer. How who's which which is uh, here, here's another guy that's very, uh, you know, some people. Anthony really Mackie, stuff. he's the one I'm thinking of. I was thinking Anthony Captain America. Mackie. I'm like, come on, he's writing a comic. I'm so excited. Never oh excited my gosh, what about. are you talking about, dude? Why are you on this show? <laughs> Hello. Hi, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Curtis. I know, you're, I, I know you're used to a certain level of professionalism when it comes to uh, this show. <laughs> Curtis doesn't know how to I react. I can't believe you uh, let all these people on your show. I can't either. <laughs> his, yeah, I, it's it's really. It's like, I can't believe you let these people on yeah. the show. <laughs> they paid me some money, man. Thank you, know. Philip. Thank you, Philip. That's all I'll say. Thank you, yeah, Philip. Philip, 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 Philip right likes uh, Tyler. Uh, but anyway, it's a five issue mini. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This collects spirits of Ghost Rider, Mothers of Demons, King and Black Ghost Rider, and Ghost Rider: The Return of Vengeance. And Marvel's Voices Pride is getting a trade paperback. I thought that this this might be another. Okay, there's a series of different trade paperbacks that are Pride Month. So this one has America Chavez, uh, Voices Number One, King in Black, Wiccan and Hulkling, uh, Incredible Hulk 240, Astonishing X Men Number 51, and Marvel Voices Pride, Incredible Hulk. <sighs> Um, so I think this has the very first same sex marriage in a comic with astonishing X Men. That's Curtis, the, what's the incredible that's the Hulk? star one, right? Yeah, what's the incredible Hulk one? I have no idea. Let's check it out. Is that what's his name's first appearance? Um, oh my gosh, I'm uh, sure Jim, so. Jim, Jim Wilson, I think you mean. Yeah, is it? I, I don't know. Quite possibly. 
with I'm just trying to think of what the significance of that one is. King in Black, Wiccan and Hulkling, Makes Sense America Chavez, Marvel Voices One, and United States of Captain America One. I don't know what the, Oh, is that the one with the different Captain Americas? I think. I haven't read that one, so <laughs> it was the first time Hulk smashed the guy. <laughs> Mac. Oh, oh, man. How dare you? Jane Foster to talk about Valkyrie. This is one that I think there was an oversized hardcover that got leaked out. No, I'm sorry. This might be a different one that I'm thinking about. But this collects Mighty Thor 702 to 706, Valkyrie, Jane Foster 1 through 10, Mighty Thor at the Gates of Valhalla, and More of the Realms Omega. Has anybody read the Jane Foster Valkyrie series? Solid. I've read the first trade of it. Yeah, I was reading the Jason Aaron Thor stuff, you know, very okay. religiously, and then I I was waiting for the collected edition of this because it seemed like Aaron didn't stick around too long. Well, he was still co-writing it for a long time. Okay. Uh, with with this, I believe it's a young lady Torun, who has an awesome name. Okay. And I think uh, the oh, name please is... pronounce that. Yeah, how yeah. do you say her awesome name? Is the question. Torun like Gronberg. Whatever it is, the translation is awesome. It's like uh, thunder or lightning something. I thought that was a really cool, like, man, if you were born to write a book, it should be Thor. That's really cool. But anyway, these are, are, are you are you required to say it like you're strangling a pig? Um, <laughs> yes, but that's funny. And of course I am. <laughs> oh, see. Okay. I just want to know how you know what strangling a pig sounds like. Yeah, I grew up in Iowa. Creepy. Where do you hang out, Lars? Uh, getting his blood drawn. <laughs> Black Widow by Kelly Thompson, Volume 3, Die by the Blade. Rafa this book Ibn is Carter. awesome. 100%. Awesome. Some. 100%, man. Love this book. This, well, never mind. I'm, I'm keep that to myself. But Star Wars <laughs> Volume 4, Crimson Rain. Uh, this is the Charles Soule era. So collecting Ooh. Star Wars 19 through 23. Um... Right now, they're doing the War of the Bounty Hunters crossover. And here we go, Tyler. Um, it's time for you and Curtis to speak up. You guys have been quiet. Generation <laughs> X, this is your era right here. Yeah, it is. Volume 2. This is great. Great stuff. Wow. Uh, two annuals in this one. I can't remember if we saw what the contents of this was before. I thought we did. Eight, uh, 10 to 12. Oh, yeah, of course we did. Yeah, we, we announced it. I forgot that they're... Forgot. This is a great Jill Mad cover. He did just, I think he did two covers for Generation X. Mm -hmm. And this is during Chris um, Bacalo's break, too, right? Chris Bacalo's yeah. break. He'll be, of Tommy he'll be back life. for the, the last few issues of this collection. He'll be back. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, I have yeah. a question. Talk to us. You're, you're saying it. I, somebody comes on my channel and always jams me up for saying Chris Bacalo. Are we sure that's the name? No. no. I, asked, I, I asked Lars, and Lars... Uh, didn't have a response. Um, uh, <laughs> I did not know the answer to that. You did not know the answer. And I'm like, but you're the wizard guy. You're supposed to know these things. And he was like, not how to pronounce that name. Because so, that sounds right. But next Imaginot yeah. swears it's Bocello. It, it is. That's you put the way the, that I've always oh, pronounced it. You put and then the I emphasis correct. on the cha. Um, Bocello? Bocello. 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 Okay. Thank you, Curtis. I oh, my did. God. Will you people make up your mind? Because I keep going back and forth, back and Curtis, forth. The, Curtis just made up your mind for Curtis you. Curtis just I've said done, it um, I, I've Well, there's two two reasons for that. I've done a bunch of interviews with uh, all the people, except for Chris Pacello. He, I haven't been able to nail down an interview with him. But they all <laughs> pronounced Because you can't like that. pronounce his name. They all pronounced it Pacello. And then I went on to, he has a YouTube video oh. that has um, him doing the ice bucket challenge, like, many yeah. years back and he introduces himself and he pronounces it the cello there you go that's Wait all you needed to say man no i had to i had to pump the interviews that i did that are on my website epicmarvelpodcast.com whoa smooth. <laughs> yeah. that was a really nice I, promo there i did just learn all from a fellow wizardite that mark we keep pronouncing it mark millar because it's ar and he's scottish you know scottish but yeah. apparently it's pronounced mark miller i've, I've pronounced it mark miller since people mm. Took it upon themselves to uh, correct me a few years Ooh. ago. So, and see, Omar, I, I did you a favor there. Omidog's Vault on YouTube <laughs> uh, <laughs> helped you pronounce Bacello. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you, guys. 
You guys are great. Uh, so, Curtis, tell me about this particular era of Generation X. Why is this? Why you you and Tyler? This is the era that you guys really enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is still the beginning of Generation X, so the 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 quality hasn't gone downhill as it will in a couple <laughs> of volumes here. Uh, Scott Lobdell is doing some great stuff in in providing a, an X team that is not the X Men. Like it's, it's very distinctly has a different feel. Uh, they they go to a lot of weird places. Um, Howard the Duck comes into this this book and becomes sort of a, a major player, sort of <laughs> through 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 half of this volume. It's just it's fun. It's just fun stuff. It's, it's different than all of the other X titles that are happening at the time. These Curtis, are young X Men, right? Curtis, I enjoy how you were almost flattering there. I mean, you basically said this is nearly <laughs> but not quite before it plunges into the depth of hell. <laughs> People will, yeah. If you've never read this, the next few volumes, it's like, oh my goodness, where did this go? So I should stop at volume two. Don't listen to Curtis, it's great all the way through. It is great all the way through. Is it James Robinson and then Larry Hama? I think eventually take over. They're not good. I I loved it all the way through. It changes its feel and drastically Mm. is a different book once, once you hit volume three and volume four. Look at this cover, man. Now, now this is more of uh, Jeff and uh, Lars's uh, type right here. This is uh, Iron Man Epic Collection Volume 5. How did we not have this already, dude? It took a long time. They, they uh, decided to wow. flip back and doing a lot of the more the 90s Iron Man books instead of going back to the classic stuff. This is a, a not a well-regarded period of Iron Man with Mike Friedrich and George Tuska, except it does have the debut of Thanos in this volume. That's right. It's got the formerly pronounced Thanos by our host. We just gonna throw everybody under the bus today. I mean, <laughs> really, <laughs> Jess is just like he's sassy. Jess is here today. No, Jess is on a roll. He's like, I'm <laughs> taking everybody down. Who are you, man? Yeah. Three animation. Jess, I told we... you coming on this thing would make me feel better, and yeah. it did. Like, <laughs> Jess, how do you pronounce Russell? Do you want to like throw? You're gonna. Rake us over the coals over that. P. Cryag Russell. Oh Stop it. He's the famous <laughs> uh, artist guy. What is it, that word? Illustri- illustrator. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a bit of an interesting uh, period because Jim Starlin, whom I think is one of the greatest creators ever. I mean, he's superb. Uh, I believe I'm right in saying that he was actually fired off Iron Man by Stan Lee because uh, Stan was looking over, like, again, the, the Thanos issue you mentioned and so on, and Stan was like, well, this is really good, but it's not Iron Man. It wasn't. It didn't and it, and it, it, Stan was right. I mean, it is weird the way Starlin is trying to slip the Space Odyssey thingy into Iron Man, and he does much better with it later on. So for the inter- you're saying for the introduction of Thanos, he got fired? Because uh, it's like yeah. a cosmic yeah. level type of story, like... Oh. It makes sense. I actually I see what Lars is saying. Yeah. Uh, because when you're yeah. reading it, it made no sense for the Blood Brothers and Thanos <laughs> to just kind of chill out. Yeah. And, and Drax, yeah. exactly. Iron Man takes a back seat in that whole story. Yes. Like, yeah. It's barely an Iron Man story. Yeah. So I can kind of see he, where he's he he, from. he really does. Yeah, especially the introduction of Drax. I mean, Drax is kind of set up as the big champion who's going to stand in opposition to you know Thanos' evil. But by the way, it's an Iron Man story. So yeah, it um, when Jim had a freer hand, he did better later on. That's why you see all those collections always in the uh, like cosmic saga oversized hardcovers or omnibus because they really do feel like he was building this up to be something bigger. Oh man, New Mutants Epic Collection. I got this one. The end of the beginning. To to a lot of people, this really felt like the end of the beginning of the New Mutants, man, because this is when Rob Liefeld was just like, yeah, you know that uh, Louise Simonson girl? <laughs> nah, just cut her out. I got this. And he, uh, and he got uh, Fabian Isissa as his uh, dialogue guy, the guy that gave Deadpool his voice. Yeah. So this is the end of the New Mutants. And Curtis, you, I think when you and I did an episode about how they were going to map this a couple of years ago, you called it. You were like, they're gonna they're gonna have to include all of Extinction Agenda. And I thought, no, man, they've already done Extinction Agenda, like in, in Milestone. But it's such an important part of their story because of what yeah. happened to I mean the, the entire team gets disassembled. Uh so collecting new mutants 95 through 100, so annual number seven, uncanny 270 to 272, X Factor 60 to 62, and then material from 
New Warriors Annual Number One. So this is the Kings and Pain, uh, Kings of Pain storyline, and X Men Annual Fifteen and X Factor Annual Six. Five hundred and four pages wrapping up. This will be the last New Mutants Epic Collection Volume Eight. Forty four dollars and ninety nine cents. So that's it. Um, so introducing us to a lot of new characters that will forever play a big part in the X Men and the oh my gosh, Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's crazy that Deadpool was introduced in issue 98. Nobody really remembers Gideon. Like Domino, it wasn't even Domino but anyway. Uh but you know, like it's crazy that something that goofy like a joke became such a big important part of not just comics but movies, pop culture. Yep. Yeah, nuts, man. But this is where it all began. Despite of how you feel about Rob Liefeld, you know, visually, he, the kid. I mean, he was a kid at the time. He had it, he had it going on, man. Because that's all me and my friends would talk about was how the New Mutants was changing. It was becoming something else. Star Wars Epic Collection: The Hello Clone there. Wars Volume Four. Does this wrap up the Clone Wars era? This is the Dark Horse era, by the way. Yeah, this collects free comic book day 20, 2005 Darth Maul son of Dathomir Republic 74 to 77 and 81 and through 83 episode 3 Revenge of the Sith 1 through 4 Tag and Bank 2 number 2 and material from Star Wars Visionaries and Star Wars Tales number 4 if this has episode 3 I bet it's the end of the Clone Wars I would think so series. right yeah because episode three. What's your favorite Star Wars movies? Curtis, best Star Wars movie. Best. I'm still a fan of uh, the the very first one, New Hope. Okay. Yeah. Out of all Tyler, of what about you? Oh, Return of the Jedi. You can't love Star Wars unless you love the end. Don't give me the nonsense about Ewoks, okay? Eight-year-old me loved the Ewoks. <laughs> I thought they were great. 36-year-old me still loves the Ewoks and thinks they're great. All right. Lars, best Star Wars movie. Uh, my wife and I uh, drove through a blizzard uh, to see uh, Empire Strikes Back at the same movie theater where I saw it when it first came out. They did a reshowing. Oh, um, that's cool! In, that's in cool. the run up to Force Awakens, and we, but it being Iowa, you know, we did have to drive through a blizzard, uh, or was it Force? I can't remember. Anyway, they did a reshowing, and we also had to drive through a blizzard uh, to go see Star Wars in concert in Omaha. I always and, wanted to do that. Uh, like about a dozen of Chris's coworkers had signed up to go, and only we ended up going because you know this is the sort of thing that really separates the wheat from the chaff. <laughs> who the true fans are, and uh, and we did we did actually as because we were the only two who went, we wound up in Auntie Daniels' trailer helping him to decorate uh, his Christmas tree. But that's a story for another day. What? Right. Wow, Whoa. that was a lot. Whoa. So Empire, Empire, Empire. Uh, <laughs> Jess, my buddy. It's safe bed for sure. Uh, uh, I had to drive through a blizzard to get my blood <laughs> drawn. And <laughs> then I went to see the third greatest movie of all time. It goes Godfather Part 1, Godfather Part 2, Empire Strikes Back. Yes, wow. can you be original? Everyone said their own thing, and then you just copied Lars. Like, almost word for it. <laughs> he and I are practically the same person. It's yeah, how it goes. They donating blood earlier together. I, I don't mean, understand what that was about. I'm not sure Blood Brothers is appropriate to talk about here. Uh, right? That is our new name. <laughs> the Blood Brothers. We <laughs> only appear together now as the Blood Brothers. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Uh, I'm, I'm, with, uh, I'm, with, I'm with Tyler, man. Uh, Return of the Jedi is the, it's, it's one of the earliest movies i remember my dad taking me to go see like we saw empire but i don't really remember that much but return i was ready for like uh it just and ewoks aside sure i was even a fan of the ewok adventure and the what was the what was the I'm one talking about battle for endor those movies so, let me, i just want to put in a plug for how long we had to wait for these Star Wars back in my day. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh here we go. No, we right three years between these movies. Yeah, yeah. Three years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've heard this. Now you get a Star Wars movie every year and every summer. And well, a TV show. A Star Wars and TV, TV show. show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had to wait three years after the ending of Empire Strikes Back. You had to, to walk both out. days uphill in a blizzard. Yeah, we heard you say it already. Getting my blood drawn. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 
you copied and pasted while the man is still here. I mean, dude, we <laughs> wait to plagiarize until he's gone. All right. New printing. Sorry, everybody, and thank you for answering. I love looking at all the different answers because I'm always curious, like, depending on age, if it's got, you know, a lot to do with it, like what your favorite Star Wars movie is. For a lot of people, you know, episode one was like, they remember going to the theater to see that for the first time. All right. Amazing Spider-Man, Great Power, getting another reprint, Volume 1. Uh, a price increase, I believe the first printing was $34.99. Correct me if I'm wrong, Curtis. And then it oh, went up to $39.99. Something like that, yeah. That, because like that. this was one of the first epic collections. Yeah. So mm -hmm. collecting Amazing Spider-Man 1 through 17, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 1, and material from Amazing Fantasy number 15, where it all began. Uh, one that we were both surprised came back into print, but it makes sense. Wolverine, Epic Collection, Volume 1, Madripoor Knights. So collecting the Marvel Comics Presents issues that lead into it, as well as Marvel Age Annual Number 4 and 1 through 16 of the main series. With big John Buscema on artwork, Chris Claremont, issue number 10 alone is worth the price of admission if you've not read it. Avengers, for all the people wondering, it is finally not only in the catalog, but now it's in the solicits by Jonathan Hickman, Ooh. Complete Collection, Volume 5, wrapping up his run. So to answer the question that I've been asked so many times, is Secret Wars going to be collected in this? No. Just like it was not collected in the Omnibus Edition or the previous uh, oversized hardcovers. So it's, it's a bit big. It kind of deserves its own standalone release. Because, you know... <laughs> I remember going to the theater to see episode one. Also, not a Star Wars press person. Draw your conclusion. You loved it. You <laughs> were were, were, were you taken there against your will? I mean, you know. I think everybody was. <laughs> Isn't that Wolverine complete collection in the Wolverine Omnibus? Yes, it is. However, the Epic Collections and the Omnibus edition are mapped set differently. Uh, Curtis, why don't you enlighten people? <laughs> Uh, the is this the those Wolverine Omni also have the Miller uh, miniseries in it? Uh, yes, it has, it has so, Weapon X and the. Um, that's not in the Omni, and then uh, the, I mean, sorry, that's not in the Epic Collection. The Omnis also include all of the Marvel Comics present stories because Wolverine was a regular character in in that. But the uh, the Epic Collection is only only including the lead up Marvel Comics presents stories the mad report stories there you go curtis the voice of the marvel epic podcast and man with all the knowledge scotty young umberto ramos could only mean one thing strange academy volume three this uh, is the, G, the graphic novel collection this is collection. a fun book Extra yes, issues 14 through 18 we do have an oversized hardcover coming out of course but when i interviewed scotty young we were both like you know the series would be great in omnibus form. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, you know, oversized hardcover sells well. Hey, let's do an omnibus edition. So I think it would be great. It's, a, it's such a good – my kids love it. There is a little bit of – I don't even want to say strong language, but definitely teenagers. I, both of my kids were yeah. okay with it. This um, is a great book. It is. Yeah. And the only way to own it in trade paperback format is the – smaller uh graphic novel size books that they're, they're like this size the 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 mighty yeah. marvel masterwork size um uh, but then the next step up after that is the oversized hardcover format which comes out i believe in march mm. and speaking of mighty marvel masterworks volume one thing. of captain america Captain America is getting his own Mighty Marvel Masterworks. Dude, this is like the epics, Curtis. Remember when the epics were so like, okay, we're focusing on four lines, and that's yep. it. Then they said six lines, no more. Now it's like <laughs> everybody gets an epic. You get an epic. You get an epic. But it Look feels like the Mighty epic. Marvel Masterworks are branching out. There's a Michael Cho cover. Always good. That's the standard edition cover. And then Miles Morales wrapping up Ooh. this catalog or the solicitations. I like the Marvel Universe. GN. How do you say Sarah's last name? I yeah. say Pichelli. Because Pichelli? I say Pichelli. Pichelli? I, mean, I could be wrong, but one of my it Italian is. viewers told me he was Italian. And he told wow. me how to pronounce it. But then again, he could be messing with me. How about you, Omni Dog, the man with the P. Craig Rezal? <laughs> <laughs> I've always said it Pacelli, yeah. but I also 
used to say Bacalo, so I could. Like, <laughs> so you can't trust anything this guy says. <laughs> until this very show, I said Bacalo too. Until yeah. Chris Bacalo himself comes on here and corrects me, I'm going to stick with Bacalo. All right, so let's go back to the very beginning. What's what? What's the one book you guys are most excited for? Because I know some of you all have to get going. Um, anybody? What's the book out of this out of this solicitation? What's the one book that you're most excited for? We can do a recap. We got Black yeah, Panther Priest coming out. This book. Iron, Mortal right Iron Fist. This with one here. The, with the whole complete story in it. Neat. That's what I was going to say, Jess. Jeez. Oh, you are such a copy oh and paste God. guy. Oh, my gosh. This is Blood Brother number two. Relax. <laughs> you're not even Blood Brother number one. You're Blood Brother two. Oh, I love it. Uh, all right. Uh, we also have X Live. So both of you are Iron Fist. Okay. No, I'm changing uh, to Gen X because uh, Jess stole mine. Preemptive. You're gonna, you're gonna steal Curtis's. Okay. No, yeah, I'm gonna steal mine. Oh, now I feel this bad. This is exciting. This book. Yeah, I'm more excited for this. Five. Yep. Oversized hardcover, wrapping up that series. Uh, I forgot to mention this one: the Marvel Studios Shang. -Chi, I'm sorry, Shang Chi, Shang -Chi. And the Legend of the Ten Rings, the art of the movie. They're still releasing these in that wide screen format. Marvel Masterworks, the Bill Mantlo era. This is Incredible Hulk Volume 16, collecting Incredible Hulk 245 to 255, and Marvel Treasure Edition 25. John Ridley, who did not, he wrote, you said he wrote 12 years as a slave, Lars? Yes. I, again, I, I've had some food now. My brains are returning to me because I've had peanuts um, to eat during this podcast. Like, yes, he wrote 12 years. He wrote 12 years as a slave. Okay. The Underground Railroad, which I just biffed on, that was Colson, Col Colson Whitehead? Colson Whitehead. Yeah. Aha! The yeah. ch is a K sound in Italian, but I don't know how Sarah pronounces her name specifically. Uh, on uh, Omnidog's vault with my interview with her, she said Pacelli. Oh, when did you interview her, dude? Uh, never. <laughs> <laughs> Are you plugging your channel with fake interviews, though? <laughs> yes. You know how many people are going to be looking for that interview now? I'm not going to be there. Gonna be like, oh, I have plenty of real interviews. <laughs> Greg Rucka. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Go ahead, man. Super Squad D. <laughs> <laughs> Captain America. Iron Man. Greg Rucka. Colin Bunn. A Hulk by Donnie Colin Cage. Bunn. Eric Powell. Oh, I love Eric Powell. I always wanted to talk to him. Uh, Avengers Forever Volume 1. So Volume 1, probably... I thought that was a five issue mini devil's reign is going all through mm -hmm. daredevil and the entire Marvel universe with different trade paperbacks. Oh, oh, oh let's look at that cover again. Yes. Jess has a thing for pin or uh, Kingpin's head. Who, right who here. did that cover? That looks like Phil. Phil no, head is shining. Wait, like okay, wait, how, do you say his, how do you say his last name? I say, Nato? I say Phil Nato, but I don't know. I'm wrong. Curtis. Yeah. No, I've no. always said Noto. No, 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 yeah, no, Curtis no. knows what's up. Okay, but I, I don't know that for sure. I believe it's no two. I'm gonna stop everybody. <laughs> no two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put everybody on mute because all your me. <laughs> Nobody is helping. Uh, Dare to have a woman without fear. Chip Sadarsky, hell of a guy and a wonderful writer, and mm. Amazing Spider-Man Beyond Volume Four. Even though it's Beyond, it's still continuing the new numbering system from 2018. Last Annihilation, Reign of X12. Wolverine, Black, White, and Blood, the trade paperback edition, Iron Man Volume 3, uh, Fantastic Four, Reckoning War, Part 1, Miss Marvel. I don't think anybody answered my question about the, the Ahmed, Ahmed family. Uh, maybe. Maybe they're not related at all, like Tyler said. Ghost Rider, The Return whoa, of the whoa, Blade. Whoa. <laughs> uh, Marvel's Voices. Did anybody get back to me about the importance of Incredible Hulk 240? Ty uh, I, I looked not it up, first I can... Jim Wilson. I can tell you that. Okay. Yeah, um, Curtis, what'd you find? I didn't find. Well, I mean, I I looked it up. Curtis is like, I'm only here to promote my channel, dude. I was not <laughs> told I was going to be asked questions. Uh, Jane Foster, Saga of Valkyrie trade paperback coming out. Black Widow, love that series, Volume Three. Uh, Star Wars Volume Four. Gen X, baby, this is That's your pick good. right here, Tyler. Well, if it's Curtis's pick, then no, I'm switching to uh, <laughs> not I'm Iron Fist. To not Iron Fist. I'm switching to the villains with the Doc Ock and all the other dudes with the arms. I don't know the name of the book, but it looked really cool. <laughs> That's my big book. That's illustrated by Phil Notto and Sarah Pacelli. Pacelli. 
Iron Man hey. Epic Collection, but he can do that. He's Italian. Uh, Battle true. Royale Volume Five and Mutants Epic Collection Volume Eight. Star Wars, lots of epics. Curtis Star Wars Legends Epic Collection Clone Wars Volume Four. Uh, Amazing Spider Man Epic New Printing Volume One, as well as Wolverine Volume One Printing and Avengers by Jonathan Hickman. Strange Academy Graphic Novel Volume Three. Love that oh, yeah. series. And then Mighty Marvel Masterworks, Captain America Volume 1. And to wrap it up, Miles Morales, Marvel Universe. For me, my pick, Black, Black Panther, Panther by Christopher mm-hmm. Priest. Mm-hmm. That series yeah. is so good. Now, you just stole Lars' pig. That's okay. It's true, you did. did. Um, <laughs> although I'm also thrilled that they're breaking this into two. Um, I think as one, it would have been enormous. And again, there is that fault series, The Crew. I hope that's in there. I presume that's going to be in Volume 2. Um there's nobody like Christopher Priest. I mean, his voice is so distinct. I will I will say that this one, you know, I, I've hyped it up on my channel a lot, but don't expect to go into this, like, immediately with, like, action-packed Hollywood-style storytelling yeah. because this is, this is different. This is a deeper dive into the – into T'Challa, and – the, the payoff doesn't come until later. So it's a little yeah. bit of a slow burn. You have to show some patience. You have to watch it with your head cocked to one side because it's just it's just a weird frame. I mean, I believe it opens with Everett Ross on a toilet with his <laughs> pants off or something <laughs> shooting rats. Um, it's very strange. <laughs> well, I think you're right. <laughs> this is the one that, like, I know he appeared in the pages of Kazar or mm-hmm. Kazar, right, Curtis? Mm-hmm. Kazar. Oh, yeah, Kazar. Okay. Kazar. Kazar. Um, it's but yeah, this it's, is the one that like you know put Everett like, and they ended up using him in the MCU because of this run. You you have to be patient because yeah, because the Black Panther isn't really the focus of it. I mean, it's told from Ross's point of view, um, and then later on they they bring back in a way the Kirby esque Panther, and things just get nuts at that point. So um, it's a rewarding read, but you have to invest some patience in it. Hey, um, Kenneth, this is a really good question because I asked David about this. So this was in the solicits, in the previous solicitations. And Kenneth is asking, is that X Lives of Wolverine an error in the solicits based on the Omni timetable? Shouldn't that be Wolverine Volume 3? Let me. I have a new timetable, by the way. Give me one second. I'm, let me look that up. Because um, it looks like – where did I put that? Aha, here we go. Uh, Wolverine has been moved, I think. I hate to say it because – but I knew it was going to happen. It, it is now November. Wolverine Omnibus Volume Three is now November, and it will include this. No, 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 no. He was um, he was asking if it was a mistake. Like Wolverine, this should have been Wolverine Omnibus Volume Three instead of X Lives and Deaths. But you you may be right. I think it might have been, perhaps. So, yeah. This Marvel Knights yeah, era, Black Panther. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Can you put back up that Dean comment right there that you just that was just up? Did you actually put? Yeah, that's great. I just I like the picture down at the bottom a little better. It's just a nice, it's a little bit nicer frame. <laughs> you are oh, such a nice. jerk. That's you guys way. used to be such good friends. How about you start over a new year? You are such a jerk. When I got kicked out of the Blood Brothers group, I got bitter, <laughs> upset. Green Lantern, what's up, buddy? It's been a while. Disappointed that Immortal Hulk Volume Five doesn't have any additional books like Immortal She Hulk. Perhaps they'll do a, a companion, right? Like with all those one shots. Um, I don't have any word on Onslaught Omnibus being delayed. I don't have my copy yet, um, so it might be delayed, or it could be that I didn't, I didn't get a copy because sometimes you know I don't. Sometimes the the public uh, the printers don't send everything to me. Now I've asked already, but for anybody that's watching later, let us know what your number one pick would be out of this particular uh, solicitation. Besides this, besides Immortal Iron Fist, really that is the best. Jess has dibs on that one for some reason. Uh, <laughs> because it's awesome. Yeah. Okay. PRH has onslaught in March, so it looks like <laughs> <laughs> reboot or relaunch the Blood Blood Brothers. <laughs> 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 what are you guys talking about? Mark Wade's Kazar beats Thanos, dude. That that Kazar series was so underrated. That's the one with uh Andy Kubert on artwork. Wow. Look at Tim Klein. How much did you pay? Damn. Did you super chat? Right Dude, thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. This one. is the last appearance on Near Main Condition, probably for six months, because he, you know, I can only come on once every six months. I can't uh, afford so you. This is uh, Immortal Iron C has your answer to the Ahmeds at twelve forty nine. 
Thank you so much. Just do some we, quick we, digging. The two Ahmeds are not related. Very common name, okay. though. Okay. okay, good to know. Well, pre the previous question is valid. If, if that is 280 pages at $75, that does seem high. For What are we talking about? Wolverine? The, the uh, X Lives and Deaths of Wolverine. Um, oh, dude. Yeah, it's been like that, though. Like, uh, you had uh, X-Men... Um... Well, was the the Inferno? I think is seventy five dollars. No, 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 no. I, I, no. I, 50, 50, 50, Sorry. Or even four. Oh, let me check again. But I think I think that one's forty. Which you know is oh, that's okay. I mean, four issues at forty bucks for an oversized hardcover seems like yeah. A lot. No, you're right. I mean, they are oversized, but still, I think the so what was it? The uh, Strange Academy is also I think. 75 i can't remember hellfire gala i know was 75 and it had about 12 issues in it, it yeah i mean you can kind of be more forgiving if things are going to be low selling because like that plastic man collection is like 60 dollars. you're like what is going on but it was plastic man um, inferno is 40 hellfire was 75 yeah i thought it was 40 yeah inferno is 40 um but when you know you would think wolverine would sell pretty well it's but. the x tax Lars, oh, I, know, I mean you're. I mean you're right, but that's like a double X tax. Um, uh, uh, yeah. I'm just a messenger. I no, 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 no. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Do all your viewers a favor, Omar. Yeah, I'm man. going to continue to buy these tiny strange academies to guarantee an omnibus. Thank you, Jess. Yes, thank you, Jess, for you. My uh, my wife. I, we donate books to libraries. Uh, whenever we don't donate to the channel, we end up donating to libraries. And she she took she called dibs on that one. And that book cannot stay in her classroom. Mm. Like the Strange Academy. It's just something kids kids are drawn to the way that the art. Well, I don't like Humberto yeah. Ramos. Uh, well, has a, almost an anime feel to it, and that's probably yeah. why kids are also drawn to that. And the size of it really makes them well think manga. Because anime is cool now, right? All kids love anime, right? Isn't it like popular? I, oh, I people owe me an apology. <laughs> I got some people I need to call to owe me an apology now. The anime, what, cool. what are you talking about? Like all the girls that turned you down? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? were wearing your Naruto hoodie when you asked them out. <laughs> How dare you? I'm like, who owes you an apology, man? I'm just trying to figure it out. I tell you who owes I, me an I, apology. I, I I do like the idea that he's gonna call up an old girlfriend. Who's happily married, <laughs> three beautiful children, great house, all this stuff. Yeah, but anime is cool. Look at what you yeah. missed out on. Look what you. I'm gonna call my third grade teacher, Miss Campbell, who said I'd never make something of myself. Guess what, Miss Campbell? I'm you were right. Mint condition. I'm on near mint condition. My friend Omar is an influencer. He said it. So there, Miss Campbell. <laughs> if you need a note, I'll let you know. Thanks, uh, man. Can, can you wait. send a note to? Uh, DG about the Gwenpool omnibus you promised me. Can I send a do you how much pool do you think I have? <laughs> Excuse me, Omnidog. Is the Howard the Duck omnibus not enough for you? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It as well. I'm a bit greedy. I admit that, uh, Norwegian assassin. I'm a bit greedy. He is. He is. And the world <laughs> needs Gwenpool. I would buy it, certainly. It was really good. That's why we're blood brothers. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> Immortal Never iron uh, is, is my blood. Super brother. Squad D, bro. Trust me, it's annoying how it's cool to watch anime now. I feel your pain. We had to mm -hmm. fight for the truth, dude. Let me tell you something. Back in my day, oh, <laughs> we had to walk 19... uphill both ways in the snow to watch. Nineteen ninety-two, I wore a Dragon Ball Z T-shirt to school. Nerd. I thought it was so cool. <laughs> Ain't nobody read that. Everybody read Dragon Balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all they knew. They yeah. knew the Dragon Balls guy, and I never wore it again. I'm telling you. Hey, God. God. It's so easy. Any update on the Predator Omnibus still coming? It is still coming. It just... The last date I saw was May, but that could be wrong. All in on that Gwenpool Omnibus. All right, Rebel by Design. Gwenpool or Dazzler Omnibus? Which would you prefer, though? And while you're answering that question, just this time, if you're living in Europe... Don't forget to check out our sponsor, Walt's Comic Shop. They're out of Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices for Marvel and DC books and a flat rate shipping rate of €9.90. Uh, they, all emails are answered within 24 hours. That's waltzcomicshop.com. Put the code in, near me, condition on one more. Check out and you get free shipping for all EU countries in your first order. And that's waltzcomicshop.com. 
Sorry, I'm not singing it. My wife does a better job of singing that than I do. <laughs> World Need, Road to Onslaught. Um, <laughs> it is, I, I swear, if I take a step back and look at my life in comics, I never thought I would see the day where people are demanding a reprint of Spider-Man like Clone that. Saga Omnibus <laughs> or demanding Road to Onslaught. Yeah, Omnibus. I think there's a few people you need to call that need to apologize to you, brother. Well, I mean... Obviously, there's some absolute completists who will buy certain titles. They'll buy it all, yeah. even when it's terrible. You know, <laughs> they have to have it. And, and my oh, wife with X Men. <laughs> <laughs> Any info on Uncanny X Men no. Volume Five? Okay, this, this is an interesting question. I mean, do we think they should do an Omni Five when they really have collected that material in other things, like the Mutant Massacre? I mean, that material is pretty much available. No, he's talking about Uncanny Five. Like there is. If they're going to put in issues of X Factor, then you have to call that the prelude to the massacre. But Uncanny 5 should just stick to issues of X Men that were missing. Okay. So it would be 190, what is that, 194 to 209 are the issues we're missing, as well as. Oh, the sorry. Animal. No, you're right. They did stop. Well, right. yeah, no, my mistake. Long shot miniseries. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I mean, there is material there, yeah. and I just haven't heard it. But we just got a volume four last year maybe maybe in the 60th anniversary of x-men which will be in 2023 we'll have a big old hoorah and then hoorah. everybody's gonna be like oh my god i can't believe i'm getting the road to onslaught omnibus mutant x omnibus who else who else did i never see getting an omnibus until like what how are we getting an omnibus <laughs> okay jazz fine Gwen <laughs> tyler can you make a note that uh omar just said big hoorah Oh, I've got the note, buddy. Don't you worry. I got the sound clip. We're going to be playing that, that in our. We need to get later. that animated. Is yeah. that not a thing anymore? <laughs> Hoorah. Big Hoorah. Omar, similar experience, but I had the Dragon Ball Z button down right. shirt with all mm. the Saiyans on it. Yeah, Very I'm so cool. sorry, man. We didn't have, but I mean, I imported mine from a Japanese shop in the well, back of a catalog of a game magazine in 1992. I thought I was going to be the coolest yeah, kid in oh, school. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. A large in America is different than a large in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like I was wearing a, like a tank top. <laughs> Maybe that's why they called me Dragon Balls instead of the shirt. Uh, how Omar, much do, you, do you have the price on the page count on the Spider-Verse Omni? No, I just uh, Spider Verse was sent over to me through email, so no price or page count on that. It's gonna be a big book, and I know people have already asked me, "Do you think they it, it would be cool to include like the last mini series to wrap it up?" So I think more than ten people reached out to me, and I have a rule about that. So yeah, I'll 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 see what Marvel says. Do we think uh, it'll be in the correct reading order? That's what I'm hoping for, man. Surely it will be, given all the hate for so many oh, years. I mean, you say that now, but yeah. I, how about this? I will personally email and say, hey, <laughs> whoever's in charge of this, you know, maybe don't do it the way they did it before. Like, yeah. actually put it in a cohesive reading order. Hey, Omar, do you think uh, Fantastic Four by Burn Volume 4 is a sure bet after the reprint of one? Was it in our, If it was in our top 20, is it a sure bet? Not 100%, but I would say 97.5%. See how I'm playing it safe? Wow, with look at you. Leave yeah, room man. for error. Look at my man right here. Ghost Rider Danny Ketch. Oh, my oh, yeah. I'd, I'd be all over that. Any news if Lemire's Moon Knight will be reissued as an oversized hardcover or if Bemis will get an oversized? They're doing a complete collections, Clark Nato. No news of... Uh, of Here's what I wish, though. I wish they would do a modern omnibus. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what they would call it because all the different creators, like you had Bun in there, you had uh, Ellis in there, you had Lemire in there, you had Brian Michael Bendis in there, Wood, Wood in there. And yeah. I think it would just Moon Knight, I don't know, now, Moon Knight now, Omnibus, something like that. <laughs> all, different, all new Moon Knight. There we go. That's what it's called, Moon Knight now. Moon Knight, Knight now. Yeah, just Moon Knight now. Buy this Moon Knight right now. We saw what they did with Absolute Carnage. But here's the thing, though, like, the problem with Spider-Verse oversized hardcover is that they actually gave you a map of here's how to read it yes. at, in the very front. Oh. And instead of mapping it out, oh. they left it for you to turn the page. And Edge of the Spider-Verse was not collected in there. Mm -hmm. or, the first appearance of a character just kind of shows up out of nowhere. Oh, so now they have... is all full of sticky notes. Yeah, I, 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 I literally have sticky notes to read that. Yeah, Mine, mine was too. I'm not exaggerating. Like I'm like, no, no this is the sticky weird. Note. Omar, uh, what's the status on the X-Men omnibus? 
X Man. <laughs> yeah, X Man. Uh, that's the one I want. I never hear anybody ask. About <laughs> I say that at, at least once a week to you. What do you mean? And there might be good reason for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, uh, who who was that? It was Jeff Loeb at first, and Terry Kavana, I think, ended up finishing it out. Right, Curtis? That's your time. Uh, Curtis is zoning out. He's like, I don't want to be here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wake me up when they start talking about DC Comics. We're talking Come about X-Men. I got to get out of here. Come on, Curtis. X-Men. That was X your jam. I, um, yeah, my brother loved that series. He collected the entire Taste. thing. What, sorry, what was the s specific question? <laughs> he did zone out. <laughs> X-Men. I mean, totally did zone out. <laughs> um, <laughs> X-Men was great for the, in the, at the beginning, and then they went in some really weird directions. So I would yeah, love that. That's to, true. And it went um, on for like 43 issues or something, didn't it? it yeah, it went all, it's like, that. It, it got canceled around 75, I think. Yeah, I remember a long time. It was, it was really good. I loved it, man. Up and until you had into this turn. shaman character. Yeah. Warren Ellis did that, and he changed up all the things. That and feels like Warren Ellis. X Force. It was so weird. That was um, weird. And then he died, and he went, like <laughs> brought back somehow. But anyway, I would, I would be. It did have some amazing Steve Scrooge. Artwork so yes. good, the and artwork. that guy went on to do storyboards for like the Matrix. Speaking of the Matrix, I think he yeah. actually did the storyboard for this new Matrix movie. The coloring and everything in those issues was also really good, especially for the time. Big fan of the eye glow. Your brother's cool, Curtis. Yeah, Ox Meet Pete knows what's up. <laughs> now, I don't know if Ox Meet Pete thinks that Tyler is your brother. No way, he thinks Tyler's your brother. He said he's cool. <laughs> He's cool. Look, you're getting some love from Tim Klein. Yeah, Tyler, you, Tim. and all the way. Yeah. All the way down to the bankruptcy hall when they print. Immortal gives me at twelve oh one asks if I have a manga collection and if I read manga. I do read a lot of manga. I've read. I was counting yesterday two hundred and sixty chapters in the last week and a half of manga. It's been a week, man. Mm -hmm. And you're the only one in this chat saying manga. Yeah, manga is that there manga? You go. Yeah. Hold on. What is the cover? Sarah, Sarah Pacelli and Chris Bacalo all write manga. Um, Just use can. that as your pronunciation guide when is the oversized hardcover of venom donny cates volume three isn't that solicited for february i think it's still coming out have we determined what the d stands for what does the d stand for tyler it stands for don't listen to jess in any pronunciation he gives <laughs> you just don't do it <laughs> manga <laughs> <laughs> final shadow no i will not can you go through the solicitations again? I think there was an error. Oh, wait. I got to show wow. you, this, Curtis. Look how far these fools have gone. Aha. Uh -huh. Look, this was for my Christmas present. <laughs> That's pretty oh, incredible. nice. Multiple Eisner Award look, winner. That's such look, a good touch. Read the board. You can tell that Alf is in the mood for romance. Tyler's creepy face. Um, <laughs> there would be no killing joke. <laughs> The, having the opportunity to write on Kenny Eggs was the one thing, but I would have gave it all up for a chance to write out Chris Claremont. Yeah, right. <laughs> Without Alf, there would be no Watchmen. There would be no Killing Joke. Period. Who, Alan who sent this to you? Uh, well, I don't know if he wants me to remain. Uh, I would have you. gave it all up. I'm pretty sure that wasn't Chris Claremont. <laughs> yes, I why are you such a hater right now? That's a great... Oh my! God. I would it have did look like the content... Up. It did look like the content included Alf kills the Marvel Universe, which is yes. <laughs> Curtis, how did you feel about that mapping? Uh, I think it's spot on. Spot on. <laughs> that was fantastic. This is why you have no soul. All right. Uh, at this moment, I just want to remind everybody to smash that like button and don't forget to check out cheapgraphicnovels.com. We have uh, that's our official sponsor here in America, where the books are up to fifty percent off. And if you've Tell them near me condition sent you their way. You can have free shipping on your first order. Haters gonna hate. That's right. Haters gonna hate. Did everyone near mint today? Yes, we are. <laughs> near minting right now. All right. Right. No, you better not be. Uh, where can people find you, wonderful folks? This is the last video we're doing together this year, which is kind of crazy. For you know? some of us, maybe ever. Maybe ever. I can't afford <laughs> Tyler all the time. Uh, but Curtis, you started off. Where can people find you, brother, when you're not hanging out with me? EpicMarvelPodcast.com. You can see my, hear my weekly podcast. And uh, you can also join my Facebook, Facebook group. Just search for Epic Collections on Facebook. Okay. 
Super Squad D Toys. Toys. I like that you threw that in there. Nice touch. Yeah. Where can people find you, my dude? Find me on YouTube, uh, Super Squad D. And you can find me on Instagram at SSD Toys, where every follow that I get in the next hour is going to be guaranteed to get Omar to print your omnibus of choice. So <laughs> whatever, if you want an omnibus, hit that follow button over on IG and you can make it happen just for the next hour. And you know what? Just for you guys, a near mint special. We're going to do two for the price of one. So every file gets two omnibus printed, your choice, two for the price of one. <laughs> you promise. Done, finally done, talked done. me into following you. You yeah. son of a... No, I'm, fine. <laughs> I'm not angry. It's Christmas time. I'm not angry. <laughs> Jess, I'm sorry, Omnidog. Where can people find you, brother? Omnidog's Vault on YouTube and Omnidog's underscore Vault on Instagram. And thank you very much for including me. Dude, you are always welcome here. Especially... When we're talking about Legion of Superheroes and yes. Pharaoh Lad. Lars, true or not, Pharaoh Lad saved the universe by giving up his life. Of course he did. Okay. Why is it, you, wait, you why is it even in dispute? You two are two peas. Blood, blood brothers. brothers. We are the blood brothers. Thank blood you. Yeah. That's all I wanted to know. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Omni Dogs Vault. And that's in YouTube. You're also on Instagram, right? Omni Dogs Omni underscore Dogs Vault. vault. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about you, Norwegian Assassin? Yes, uh, I'm at madnorwegian.com. And again, for all of you Doctor Who fans in the audience, we have, uh, well, at least two, if not three Doctor Who books coming out mm -hmm. next year. And again, please remember, if you haven't gotten a Christmas gift for the Doctor Who fan in your life, I co-write uh, A History, uh, the definitive timeline to Doctor Who with Lance Parkin, three volumes, now over a million words. That's so, impressive. Wow. Great. Yeah, wow. It's, it's, really a it's a lot. It's a lot. It's it's over. Is there a lot in that at all? Tragically, yeah. no. Oh. Tragically, no. But the Star Trek crossover is in here. Ooh, so, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And I will be back tomorrow with some hidden gems. And then Saturday, I'll be doing the Q&A. It'll be a Christmas Q&A. We'll have a little giveaway for people that are watching and uh, want to break from their family or just aren't doing anything for the 25th. Um, I'm unless I'm not I'm here, but that ain't up to me. What's up? Gwenpool Omnibus. Gwenpool oh my God. Omnibus. <laughs> I'm going for subliminal here. It's not working. <laughs> so everyone, Gwenpool thank you all. Take care. Omnibus. And I will see you all tomorrow again. Thank you to my panel for joining me. This was a lot of fun. Peace and love. Merry Christmas.